Hi everybody, it's your boy, Lump here. It's been a long time since we've talked. Uh, you look good. That's a lie, you look like shit, but I've been gone for a couple of months, so I need to make a good impression. I kind of vanished off the face of the earth, and I think we kind of need to talk about that, because this is not the first time I've done this, but I'm hoping it's gonna be the last. So let's, let's start breaking down what happened, where we're going, what we're doing, etc. Yeah? Yeah, I'm on board with this plan, and if you're not, well... You're still watching, so your actions disagree with your statements. So, uh, there's no good way to start this one. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm talking like box seats, like it's, it's 2003. First things first, I moved out of my parents' place, which is fantastic. I think I've mentioned that, but in case I didn't, look, here's my room. You can see the proof of why women don't talk to me in the background. But, so, uh, after a couple of months, um, in August, I suffered Probably my first genuine mental break. Like, I'm talking, like, non-functional. This was not pretty. And you might question why I'm speaking with such levity. It's because I went and got help. <laughs> mental health is important, and as people who do YouTube, um, it's very easy for us to forget that, just like creators as a whole. So, uh, I ended up being like, this isn't good, this ain't normal, I have not slept in three days because I have been crying. We're getting some help. So I went to therapy, and it helped me a lot. This is probably the most level-headed and well-put-together I felt in years. I'm, I'm being straight with you guys. I actually feel amazing, finally. But, so, obviously, uh, from August to about December, I was working through everything. I was working through myself, working through all my issues. We're not getting into them here. This isn't the place for that. But, needless to say, I'm doing way better than I have been for a long time. There was a lot of stuff that built up over the last five years that, you know, just... Got, it got its shit pushed in. I beat it in a fight. I kicked its ass. But it, it was just... It was nasty. It was a nasty, nasty time, and I'm happy that we're past that. But I didn't make videos for that time, and I didn't tell y'all that we weren't having videos for that time. So I guess, late warning, uh, we won't be making videos from August to December of 2021. Uh, you can thank me for the advanced warning uh, in the comments below. Thank you. But no, the thing is, when something like that happens, it takes you a while to re-establish yourself. Because, I mean, it, it doesn't erase your identity or anything like that, but, like, it slaps you upside the head, and you just kind of got to be okay with that. It just happens. That's just how it is. But, so, what I've been doing is I've been trying to find, uh, to put it in the way of Guilty Gear Strive, and find my one way, as it were. Find out what works for me, and how to work with myself. Uh, being understanding with yourself and your limitations is important, and for anyone who's watched the channel for more than a year, you know that I dream a bit too big for my britches. And given how large I am, like, stomach-wise, they're pretty big pants, and it's weird I keep dreaming outside of them. But, so, I, uh, I've, I've taken care of a lot of the issues that we normally face on this channel that I'm, I've been very public about. Like, I'm financially stable again, uh, I have insurance. I have fucking insurance. I'm an adult, guys. I, I'm an adult. Oh. Oh. But yeah, no. So I've been just reestablishing like what makes me me. And as y'all know, I pride myself on consistency, just of effort, of habit, etc. I pride myself on being a very, very diligent deliberate person like yeah I'm a little bit chaotic but that's the, that's the charm but I like to have a schedule I like to have a routine and I like to never break it and breaks do happen but I like to do my best to never break it there was one time after college where I started doing keto cold turkey just stopped everything else I'm gonna be real with you that was probably I, it wasn't the best I felt because of what I was eating because I was doing keto completely incorrectly uh, I, I'm glad I stopped when I did because I would have died but I had to not indulge in things that I loved because, realistically speaking, they would just doom me. So we just, I just didn't, I didn't, I didn't have them. And that's the thing, like, I used to be a beast of burden, of willpower, and I lost that somewhere along the way. So I've been reestablishing that. Some of you follow me on Twitter. Uh, I'm very sorry about that. Um, about what? That, that I'm on Twitter. But... Some of you may follow me on Twitter, and you'll have noticed a couple of tweets like, I beat the sun. That's me going to the gym at 5 in the morning, <laughs> like, walking there. Like, it is just... It's not easy. But these things that I do, I do for my own happiness. So I think they're worth doing, even if they're difficult. But no, so I've been actually just working on building muscle mass, uh, establishing routine, and just 
becoming better at being Cam. That's always been the thing that I need to do, is just be the best me I can be. As I'm filming this, uh, Russia just sent out the nuclear threat, so like... That was the best time to focus on myself, I think. <laughs> but yeah, no, y'all know I don't like making these vlogs. I'm just like, sorry, there's been no content, but I'm hoping this will be the last one. Why? Well, that's the thing. I've been doing some thinking. It turns out when I'm not making content, I'm free to think. Which is nice. I don't, I don't think often. The thing with game development YouTubing is, I'm trying to think of the best way to put this. It's probably the fact that if you're just making your dream game, you're the only one who cares, and that's good. Make content you care about. It's not the most consistent. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you follow Danny, uh, and if you don't, probably one of the bigger game dev YouTube channels. Love the guy. Hilarious. But the thing is, is he was working on Carlson, his game, for a while, and we got pretty consistent devlogs about that, and then they stopped. Because here's the thing, at a certain point, game development cannot be done publicly. But yeah, no, so I, I've been, just been doing some thinking, because a lot of the things that kill us all the time is scope. Scope just gets us. It just obliterates us, because, like, it's so easy to dream big, but it's a lot harder to be like, this idea sucks, don't do it. <laughs> and the thing is, is, well, I'd like to work on projects, if it's not something that I'm truly into, I lose focus, man. I lose the passion, I lose the drive, and that's what happened with the slime game. It's a neat little character controller, I could polish it up a bit more, yeah. I still might. But, I don't think that would make for good, engaging YouTubing. And more importantly, the next step for that one was to start making level assets, and like, designing and greyboxing. And that's interesting. To me. But it's a very boring process to watch, and it's just a lot of talking philosophy of level design. I'm gonna be real with you, y'all are gonna be in the comments like, oh, I'd watch that, like, cool, and I appreciate you, but that's not good content. The thing is, is I've learned that YouTube game development gets to be sloppy. It gets to be disgusting, and I'm kind of a fan of that. And the thing is, is... I have to look up who did the video. Give me, give me one second. Yeah, and uh, Robert Thompson put out a video that basically was talking about all of the issues that they were having with their game Zero Tag. And it kind of solved the problem I was having. I can't just make my dream game and upload it and expect people to care. That's not going to get me anywhere. That's not going to do us any good. And if I lose passion for the project, I lose the passion for my YouTube channel. I don't like that. And I've been having a lot of trouble focusing while I get my, you know, get my shit back in line. So this double has an issue. But uh, he basically established that, like, people like smaller, shorter, well, not smaller, shorter videos, but they like very concentrated videos that they can watch in one sitting and fully understand what's happening. If you go to, like, Danny's channel and tune into, like, Carlson, you get a basic synopsis and then the episode. But that basic synopsis, like, it's not going to do as well as making Crab Game, for example. Like, people want something digestible that they can just easily get into, and honestly, I'm the same way! And that kind of solved my problem, and I'm not saying this is an insult, because I, I completely agree. If I'm watching something, I want the beginning, middle, and end. I don't want to wait another month to get the next part of it. Realistically speaking, uh, what this means is... Game Jam. Game Jam? Game Jam! Uh, so, uh, what I'm thinking, uh, for the channel at least, for our channel, I don't control anyone else's channel, for the most part. You don't know where I am. But yeah, for the most part, uh, the intent is, if a game idea is going to realistically take more than about two weeks, still big kid it. You just, you just kill it. Just end it, just end its existence, remove it, obliterate it. Get rid of it. Because the thing is, we gotta, uh, I, I gotta be agile, I gotta move fast and eat ass, and I don't have a lot of time. I'm a very busy man for like the next two weeks. Uh, to kinda give myself some relaxing time, I started raiding in Final Fantasy. That was a mistake. But we're just about done the tier, we just moved on the P4S, that's the last fight of the tier. And then I just lose my Tuesdays to it, and that's that. But... The thing is, though, is video ideas need to be very small and condensed so I still have time to decompress. One of the things that always gets me is I just never relax, so I have to force myself into a calm state by playing games with friends, going up a mountain, touching some grass, eating the grass, loving the grass. 
I'm talking like actual crabgrass on the lawn. I gotta touch it to remember nature is real. I haven't seen a bird in weeks. I think the government's recharging all of them. That's the thing. So I need to make sure that it's a simple idea so I can get it out monthly because I want to be monthly. That's the big thing. I want to make videos monthly. If I just say I'll get it done when it's done, I will not get it done. That's just how it is. And I gotta work with that in mind. I took a couple of courses on project management and video game production because one of the most important roles in a video game's life cycle is that of a producer because they basically are like, here's the pace, here's what we gotta do, here's how we're going to achieve it, and if it's unrealistic, these are probably where we can have cuts. So will I be perfect? No. Not in the slightest. But failure is the first step to growth, and I'm looking forward to fucking up live on camera for everybody. I'm looking forward to making these mistakes, I'm looking forward to screwing up, and I'm looking forward to having things that I can at least teach while also building my competency. Because that's the real reason I swapped to doing game dev YouTubing. I wanna make content that has a story to it, and for now that's game development. And I switched to it for that reason, but also to build up my own competency as a game developer. One thing that I've been faced with is my mortality. Did something happen? I found one gray hair, and now I'm having a midlife crisis. <laughs> I joke, my family grays very early. I'm looking forward to being a DILF. But... <laughs> Man, my family watches this channel, and I'm gonna get one hell of a message from my mom today. <laughs> What's a DILF? I'm fuck- I'm- I am roasting my guy. I am- I am- Burning. But yeah, so the thing is I really wanted to build up my competency as a game developer because I have stories I want to tell. I have really cool ideas I want to do and they're all beyond my reach. And to put it simply, in the same way as losing a match as Potemkin against the Biken, if I lose it, it's a skill issue. Like, that's the thing. All of my ideas right now are gated behind diligence, discipline, and practice. I can't do the things that I want to do right now because I'm not putting in the hours. And even if I put in the hours, the product that I deliver right now wouldn't be up to my standards. Although realistically speaking, it'll never be up to my standards, but I would like to be a little bit closer than what I could project now. So that's what I've been doing. For the last month, I've been trying to sculpt as much as physically possible. I, you can't see it, but I spent uh, my money on a Cintiq. I was gonna get an index, uh, but in a very eye-opening talk with one of my friends, he basically made a very solid case for working on your dreams rather than escaping reality. So that's what I'm doing. Videos hopefully next month, if not next month, then the month after. I'll keep you posted if that changes. I'll be trying to upload teasers to the community tab, because that's the thing. I feel bad being silent for a month and then just dropping a video. So I'm gonna hopefully utilize the community tab so you guys can see a little preview of what's going on. Maybe utilize shorts throughout the month. We'll see. But until then, my name has been Lumo, doing better every day. And I hope to see you in the very next video. Some of you might see me on Calbus. I'm gonna act like I don't know you. You might wanna get that bump checked out. <laughs> Have a great day.